Thanks you for joining the Bia France News Television tonight for the latest updates happening in the United States of Bia France all over the world. We are about to present to you our able Prime Minister live presenting to you on the information and on the update that he was sending to all the Pierre France all over the world this night. But Pierre France and the lovers of freedom, before we go further, there is a message that the Prime Minister sent directly to the Nigerian government on his ex Twitter handle. And uh, this is not longer a secret or a something to negotiate about. The Nigerian government knows that the Prime Minister is behind all the strangulations, all the uh, uh, this thing, all the scumbling that is happening right now to them. They know who is behind it. And now at least the Prime Minister is finally approving his evidence of proof to show the world why he is behind those things. This is the statement that the Prime Minister make. <laughs> He said, Simon Ekpa breaking. The Biafran's liberation fighters will be hitting the major pipeline very hard. And it is part of the ongoing Biafran's economic strangulations against Nigerian terrorists. State to continue to staff them of funds for terrorism against Biafra. As easy as this. The Prime Minister make it open that is behind the strangulations as it continues. If the decorations continue to fail, and you know, uh, is not failed to say that if they begin to draw the delay it, the more the economy could be starving, strangulating until the decorations become reality. So now let's hit the major information. Let's watch him live as he was displaying it to the Nigerian government. As you are watching. Don't forget to click the share buttons and if you have not subscribed, don't forget to click the subscribe button. So when next we are dropping information, you can be notified on what we are doing here. Thank you very much. Yes, we have, we have, we have measures. The measure we have is that now we don't know any friends and brother. We don't have anybody. Uh, we are not remorse in what we are doing. Immediately, Biafra has been restored. We will start what we called the rebuilding of the Biafra nation, which will include reconciliation, forgiveness, bringing people together, and the rebuilding the nation of Biafra. So we are going to have what we call a process of the reconciliation. So we are not going to take the the uh, the brutality of freedom fighting into the Biafra uh, as a new nation. So we're going to start the process of reconciliation. Those who wish to embrace it will be given the opportunity to embrace the reconciliation process. Those who say they don't want to reconciliate with the Biafra, they may have a choice to go to the Arewa Republic and live and enjoy their life there. So, but we are going to give opportunity to people as a Democrat, we are, and looking for embracing of the civilization and bringing new civilization to Africa, we will have what will the process of rebuilding the nation of Biafra and reconciliation program We start. We will make sure that everybody in Biafra land will be reintegrated into the system and build the nation that we all are craving for. Thank you. Thank you so much, my PM. I want you to remember that all the Biafrans across the world are behind you. And whatever thing you are doing, we are behind you. Airborne, airborne, airborne. Thank you, Pathfinder. Thank you very much. Please, if you are in the room and you didn't raise your hand, you might just be there. Somebody that came after you, we be attended to. I will only know you are there when you raise your hand, please. All right, uh, we move. I'll be Casey. Please unmute yourself. Okay. Uh, good evening, my minister. Uh, good evening, my prime minister. I'm proud to have you as a prime minister. And I'm very proud of living in your generation and generation of Mazinam Dekan. We are glad to have you. Thank you. I have just two questions. And number one is, is there anything that can be given to you that we offer you or that can pro they can be promised to you 
that will make you change your mind about Biafran restoration come second of December. Is there any gift, any promise, anything that can give you for exchange? That is number one. Number two, the people we have today as political leaders in Biafra territory, after December 2nd, what will be their fate? Let me stop in this too. Yeah, sorry, because as I'm listening to you, I am also writing updates because today I live, or in these, these days I live 72 hours a day. Why average person have 24 hours? I live 72. So I do many things at a time. So you talked about what we're going to do to those politicians who have been fighting against the Biafra struggle, right? Was that your question? Yes, that's my question, sir. Exactly. All right. I say, what, what are we, what do, are we going to do with these politicians that have had bent in serving the zoo and continue to do so on the second of December? What are we going to do to them? And this, the other one is, is there anything that can be given to you for exchange or for you to drop the vision or the? aim to have Biafran independent come second December. I want you to understand our slogan have changed. Our slogan is freedom or die. And let me make it very clear that when we say freedom or die, it is not about Simon Ekba. I will be here to finish this war and this fight that I have started. One thing is that anybody that is thinking that Simon Ekba is going to compromise the person have not begun. I don't think that person has been born. Simon Ekba will be the last person to even think about compromising or discussing with anybody anything that is not the freedom of Biafra. And like I said, any day I discuss with anybody, instead of discussing the Biafra freedom, I discuss for my interest. My, the spirit of my mother will slap me deaf and dumb. People don't know how I managed to come to do what I'm doing today. And like I said, I will remain a mystery. There is something powerful for us that I can never go against. So any day that I do something that is not for the interest of Biafra and how Biafra will come, the spirit of my mother will slap me deaf and dumb. I think that is the highest thing that will happen to somebody before the person dies. So issue of uh, Simon Ekpa compromising or collecting anything should, uh, shouldn't come to anybody's uh, mind. And those who have worked very closely with me will understand what I'm saying. Having said that, those who say they are not going to uh, stay alive and see Biafra come, you see they are dying one after the other. So. The politicians you are talking about, you should be talking about if they are alive till then. Uh, so those who make it alive uh, will uh, be treated in accordance with the Biafra law, the law of Biafra and the constitution of Biafra. So what the law says about the politicians who fought against the freedom of Biafra will take its course, not what someone ever say. So the law of Biafra will be designed based on the experience we have based on what we went through in the process of our freedom. And on that ground, those that will write the constitution of Biafra will design it in a way that they will touch those who have fought against us, especially those who force into the categories of politicians who are hell-bent to serve Nigeria, not Simon Ekwa. But of course, the law of Biafra will take its course and the law enforcement agency of Biafra land will make sure that they uphold the law of Biafra, and those who found wanting will uh, serve, you know, will give in the, the punishment they deserve in accordance with the Biafra constitution, the Biafra law. Thank you very much.